Hello, this is a very quick Joys of Mac tip, uh, just how to um, change the quality of the uh, settings in iTunes. Um, firstly, mo most people leave their iTunes set to rip CDs at uh, the default quality, which used to be 128k PPS. I believe now it's something like 256. Uh, but uh, even so, if you've got a higher capacity iPod, such as 16 or 32 gig, then you could probably make um, a, a lot of albums, especially your favourite ones, um, as AIFs. Now, AIF files and WAV files are similar things. AIF is the Apple version, WAV is the PC version of basically what's on a CD. So it's totally uncompressed, and this is how you go about doing it. Um, in the iTunes menu here, uh, for PC users, I think it's in the file menu, but ha um, do have a little hunt around. iTunes, preferences. Uh, it says here, when you insert a CD, ask to import CD. That's all fine, leave that. Um, it's the import settings button that you're after. Okay, uh, at the moment this is imported using the AAC encoder. Now AAC files are fairly reasonable quality. This is a 256 stereo one, but we can do better than that. Okay, change to AAC encoder, change that to AIF encoder. Okay, Apple lossless, by the way, does compress. Um, it's not as good as FLAC files. It does compress the file, but it's professes not to change the quality at all. Um, so that might be good if you've got like an 8 gigabyte nano or something like that. But AIF is still better. All right, so change that to AIF. Okay, and say OK to that. Okay, and say OK to that. And then select the file that you want to change. This is a David Sylvian thing that I downloaded from the internet many years ago. I don't even know where it is now um, in terms of the website that it came from. But it's a really good song. And I think I'm going to convert it. This is going to create an AIF version from a 128k BPS MP3 file. So just click Create AIF version. And it should do that. And it's put it just there. Okay, so if I get the information on that, which is right click and get info or right click and properties, um, then there you can see that that's an A file. Now that hasn't made it any better quality than the 128k thing that was already there. It just means now that if I um, upload that to something or copy it to a disk or something like that, then I'm not decreasing any quality. Um, the main benefit of A files is that when you rip CDs, if you rip them to A, then they're um, then they're at the higher quality. Okay, and basically whatever you change this to here, you see if I change the import settings to MP3 for example, okay, and say okay, then when I go to advanced and select something, you see it now says create MP3 version. Okay, so it's whatever you change it to here will create the new version. Okay, so there you go. Hopefully that's uh, been a helpful tip.